Hey folks, this is David at TED IELTS, and today I'm going to teach you 48 words and phrases that you can use when talking about offices. Right, let's get started. First of all, we'll talk about that word, office. This is a place where people work. It is a countable noun, so I can say I work in an office, or there are several offices near here. However, like many places, we can sometimes say the before office because typically the person you're talking to knows which office you mean. Therefore, even though it is ungrammatical, we might say, for example, he left for the office an hour ago. Note that an office is usually a place where many people work for some sort of company, but it can also be a room in your house. As lots of people work from home nowadays, it's increasingly common to have an office in your house. This may also be known as a study, but the word office implies it is for work rather than other purposes. If you do work at a company, then you might work in an office building. As the name suggests, this is a building that contains lots of offices. It might look like the one in this picture. What else can we see here? Well, there's an entrance, a car park, and what looks like a stairwell, and of course, many windows. Right, let's go inside. Every office will be a little different, but most office buildings have a reception area. This might be known as a foyer. Note that in American English, this is pronounced foyer, but in British English, it is foyer. Speaking of differences between British and American English, most offices will have an elevator. Whilst we do say this in British English, we also say lift, which Americans do not say. Next, we'll go into the main office area. This will totally depend on where you work and what the dominant office culture is there. There are several common types of office, with the main ones being open plan, private, and cubicle. Nowadays, we also have the co-working space. An open plan office is a working area where everyone is together and not closed off from each other. In private offices, each office is an individual room. Cubicles are sort of somewhere in between. You have dividers separating people from each other. As for co-working spaces, well, that depends, but it generally is going to be a bit more like an open plan office, although because each person is there individually, it might be a bit more spaced apart. Next, let's look into the conference room. Most offices have at least one of these. It is commonly refer referred to as a meeting room. The events held here can be termed conference or meeting. In a room like this, you'll have many chairs and tables, often facing the place where a speaking speaker would stand, but at the same time, it's set up so that everyone can see and hear everyone else. There may be a screen and a projector and possibly a flipboard as well. A lot of offices will also include a break room. As the name suggests, this is where employees can go when they're on a break. This room will often include a fridge for people to keep food, as well as a kettle and mugs for making tea or coffee. Now we'll look at some items you might find in an office. Let's start with this chair. I know you probably know that word, but what about the specific name? Well, we commonly call this an office chair, because that's typically where you find it, but some people call it a swivel chair. Swivel means to turn around in the way that you could do on this type of chair. We can see a small filing cabinet here that's used for storing things, namely files and other papers. We can also see a file organizer on the desk. There's also some stationery on the desk. Speaking of stationery, let's look at some common items you might find in an office. Here are some of the most common ones. Can you name them all? Pause the video and think about it for a moment. Here are the names. Stapler, hole punch, calculator, eraser, paper clips, scissors, and ruler. Note that in the UK, we might also call an eraser a rubber. Nowadays, all offices will have computers, so you should be able to talk about these. Here's a computer and we can see the different parts. There's a monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard. The keyboard and mouse here are both wireless. You should know the different kinds of computers too. We have desktops, which are also known as PCs or personal computers, laptops, and tablets. 
Next, we can see some more common office items. Almost all offices will have a copier and probably more than one. This is short for photocopier, but we don't just copy photos and so copier is more common. Then there are printers. This could well be part of the same machine, in which case you probably use the term copier, even if printing was the primary function. Then we have the water cooler. This is a bit of an office trope. In TV shows and movies, it's where people talk during the working day. Finally, we have the notice board. This is a board where managers might put some important information for people to see. It could be in the break room or the main office area. It might feature some of the following. Uh, schedule or rota, shift details, employee duties, rules, memos, and so on. Right, that's all for now. If you think I've missed anything or any important words of vocabulary that you would like to know, then let me know in the comment section below. Every office is different, and so I'm sure there's something you've seen in an office that I didn't think to include. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more advice on English vocabulary, grammar, and also on IELTS test preparation.